My name is Lark Martin. I'm eight years old. I'm in second grade going to third. And I will be talking about multi-step multiplying. Thank you and let's get in it. Now that I have written down my problem, I will draw lines to separate the, my numbers. And now I'll draw boxes underneath them. And I'll put an extra box right here, just in case. Now I'll put boxes on top of here so when I um so when I carry. And I'll put plus signs in it. And as you can see, and as you can see, you don't put any box on the last one. So I will now put no box. And you don't put a box on the extra one box. So the two represents the two times tables. And I'll write six circles because I see six here. And I'll draw two tally marks in each circle. And I'll put the numbers on top of them to, to remember my times tables. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, and 11, 12. And 2 times 4 is 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, and 2 times 4. So 2 times 4 is 8, and I'll put 8 up here so my teachers can check and see if my multiplying is right, it's correct. And I'll also put an 8 right here because 2 times 4 is 8. And then, I will draw an arrow to the five, and, oh yeah, and I don't have to borrow anything, so I put a zero here. And so, yeah, I will draw two to the five, and two times five is two times one, two times two, two times three, two times four, and two times five. And two times five is ten. So I'll, draw, I'll put a ten here, and I have to borrow something. So I'll put the zero in this box and the one in here. And I have to carry the one here. And I'll draw a two to the six. So it's two times six, but two times six plus one. So let's see what two times six is first. Two times one, two times two, two times three, two times four, two times five, and two times six. Two times six is 12, but 12 plus one is 13. So we're going to put a 13 up here and put a 3 here. And we're going to put a 1 here. And draw a 2 to this 6. And we just did this one, so 2 times 6 plus 1 is 13. So we're going to put a 13 right here again. And a 3 here. And a 1 here. And 2 times 6. We just did this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. But this time, you just put a, a 13 here. And so, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll submit my answer to IXL.com and I'm going to see if it's right or wrong. And it's right. Now stay tuned on Future Wizards Math. Bye, Future Wizards.